Uh huh, honey. So it's six in the morning and I'm already off. Very quiet. So you can smell the fresh air, and I'm going to see some castles today. So we just made a coffee stop and I got some peppermint tea. Off to adventures. So right now I'm at a medieval castle and it's super cool. I've never been to a castle before. Really can't capture it on camera, but it's really fun exploring something medieval because Canada's a young country, let's be honest. All stone and the moss just makes it so beautiful. Everything's so green. The Rock of Cashel, which means fortress, includes several buildings. The oldest being the 12th century Round Tower, Cormac's Chapel, 13th century Gothic Cathedral, and the Hall of Vickers, which is now a museum. There is a story of how the castle came to be. It originated in the Devil's Bit when St. Patrick banished Satan from the cave. Queen Elizabeth II visited the site in 2011, and there's also a graveyard. Um. the Blarney Castle. We're gonna look for the stone to kiss and then we'll have the gift of gab. Why might you hang upside down to kiss a stone? If one kisses the Blarney stone, they are said to be bestowed with the gift of eloquence and the shrill of flattery. The stone was put into the Tower of Blarney Castle in 1446. There are many popular myths and legends surrounding the stone. Here we go into the dungeon. Very narrow, hey? Okay? <laughs> so we're in line for kissing the Blarney Stone. The stairs are very narrow, but we finally made it to the top. Claustrophobia is 1% triggered. So I just kissed the Blarney Stone, that means I now have the gift of gab, so all my friends who say I'm too quiet can't say that anymore. King Malcius of Spain and some of his sons went to battle in Ireland. Hepper took the castle once his father had died, and Macrates are said to be his descendants. One night, a witch was saved from drowning, and she gave the stone to the Macrates, letting them know about its power as a thank you. Oh, I hear them. There's crows in the girls' room. Okay, so now we're in the poison garden. So I'm be very sure I don't touch anything. Okay, so it's to educate people, not to kill them. That reassures me. Survived the poisonous garden, even though the warning was at the end of the garden not to touch, smell, or eat any of the plants. Good thing I have common sense. I'm about to try my very first genuine Irish stew. And I'm hungry, so it's a great time for it. Swinging in Ireland. Didn't think I'd be doing that, but it's fun. We're having a blast. <laughs> This castle was known for its interesting and intelligent defense mechanisms. Lots of interesting tricks to keep the enemies out. It's a little creepy because no one else is over in this corner. Now to be let into the castle, the lady of the house would meet you with three drinks at the door. And you had to drink wine, whiskey, and ale if you wanted to enter the castle successfully. The stairs curved to the right because most knights were right-handed, so they'd use their right hand to balance and had to put their sword in their left hand so they really couldn't defend themselves. 
So it's a beautiful, beautiful castle. It was very interesting to learn about the different tactics that they would use. The expression go ballistic comes from this particular area and this castle, but uh, the castles are starting to feel like the shrines in Japan. <laughs> There's a lot of them, but we don't have them back home. so. So I've sort of experienced the nightlife, now I'm heading home because it was a long day, but there's live music so that's really cool. Alright, so I've been lost a few times tonight, but I'm finding my way. Everyone is very, very kind and helpful. 